Hello everyone, we have decent weather outside but I'm feeling a bit sick today so might as well stay inside and since family is out of home and it's silent I thought I'll film a video which I wanted to film for a rather long time but I need I needed to prepare for that and to make sure that my thoughts are ready and that I have made up my mind. So for the last month I had a Garrard turntable at home and uh, since I acquired this fantastic Ortofon RNG 309 uh, arm I was uh, considering to I need a new plinth at least, but uh, I thought I may as well um, look around the other options of a turntable. So Garrard is very popular and I thought I'll, I'll try that. Since, you know, as I'm saying, a million Japanese cannot be wrong. But uh, my findings are probably probably a bit different than uh, the majority of uh, audio files have and I prefer Lenso in the end with this particular Lenso and with that particular Garrard 401 that I had I prefer this turntable and I'll talk about reasons soon but uh, I have to do uh, several disclaimers before I start uh, talking about uh, differences and, and my reasons that I chose this or that. So firstly let's start with Lenso. My Lenso is as modified as possible, as possibly can, as someone possibly can. The underside is all glued with bitumen, so this is not resonant at all. You cannot say that it's a thin metal anymore. Then the the main bearing, it has a, a, a palm plastic plate and a ceramic bearing, bearing inside. Actually I, I have several, several sets of those remaining. So if anyone is interested, I, you can contact me and I can send you. And then uh, um, there is also the the bearing housing is standard, but I've made a, an additional metal coupling here in the center, so it it doesn't hold on uh, three uh, small screws, but but the weight is distributed over a bigger area. Also, all the springs and and uh, uh, the the thin uh, wire pieces, they are all wrapped in uh, Teflon or, or rubber so that they don't resonate when, when it's spinning. Uh, the tire, the Idler tire is standard, but it's not from Lenso L70, it's from L78 because L70 had a plastic Idler and it was all crooked. So, so this Lenso looks standard, but it's no longer standard. And, you know, having in mind when I talk Lenso versus Garrard, we have to have this in mind because a standard Lenso will not perform the same way as this one. And, of course, the mats, you know, this is the um, cork rubber mat. And under that I have a rubber mat from a, uh, from a Telefunken, which has died and has been torn to pieces and yeah the, the arm and and the, the disc have been um, have been uh, shared with others and that's probably the most valuable parts of that turntable otherwise it's rubbish so so this is Lenso and uh, the Garrard it's uh, the Garrard I had, it, it needed service, so uh, what I did is I cleaned the, the rim of the, of the disc with, uh, with Spirit and also I cleaned the tire 
the idler tire I, I have I've removed the idler I have cleaned the, the shaft of the idler and uh, the um, uh, the bearings I guess I'm not sure if they are bearings or just a brass um, uh, pressed in brass brass details and uh, the last thing I did for a Garrard was uh, I um, I removed uh, the bearing housing I opened the bottom and uh, cleaned all the the shaft and 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 uh, the pad um, and uh, of course it was dirty and had the old oil and I used sewing machine oil and uh, after these procedures uh, I got wow RMS at 003 or 004 which is uh, beyond the factory spe specifications for Garrard 401. So um, I could say it was uh, good enough and, and I had an objective um, comparison. Um, so let's... Uh, uh, and another thing, uh, a disclaimer, you know, I'm, I was, you know, my review is as honest as possible because I'm not in you know I'm not pushing for any side because both turntables have its strengths and weaknesses uh, but I will talk about that uh, later so so to make uh, to make the situation as even as possible uh, I used the same combination of mats and w one more thing I wanted to say this cork rubber mat is not enough uh, to to tame uh, the sound of metal, so that's why I'm using the rubber mat mat underneath. So these two mats were used on this Lenso and on the Garrard, it identical, identical configuration. And this Orthophone RMG tonearm, as you can see, I have it clamped with a with a metal clamp on the side of turntable, and of course I have it very measured, very well measured and dialed in. Um, I did the same on Garrard, same mats, um, same tone arm, but I wasn't able to use the clamp. So this is a disclaimer. I wasn't using a clamp on a Garrard because when I put on a clamp, it it gets crazy. It's, it doesn't hold the speed anymore, and and it's it's hard to to listen to that turntable. Um, let me try to explain the differences, the, the key differences that I think are important in, in the differences of sound of these turntables. So if we talk about, uh, let's start with the bearing, with bearing and uh, the Lenso bearing is, as I told you already, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a ball bearing uh, against uh, a plastic pad. In a, in a standard configuration, there is a very thin plastic pad which is usually deformed and the bearing is already rubbing against uh, the metal pad on the bottom. So a standard Lenso is very noisy uh, from the shaft already because um, because the, the pad is too thin and uh, it has no chance to, 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 spin, uh, to spin consistently and silently. Uh, the construction of uh, Garrard bearing is very similar. Instead, the shaft is uh, the bottom of the shaft is flat, and it's and it's spinning on a brass or a copper. Um, you may correct me in the comments. I don't uh, remember anymore. It's it's spinning on a pad, so it's like a pillow, a pad. And what happens over the years? The the top of the pad it wears out and becomes flat. So the longer you run your garage, it, it just uh, wears out, the further it wears out. So I was actually using the standard pad and, and it wasn't terrible, but you can see already that, that it had some wear on it. Um, so I think, you know, start starting to talk about uh, the, the sound of, of Lenso and uh, Garrard, I think it has to do a lot with the construction of bearing firstly. The second uh, difference is that uh, the Lenso uh, disc is heavier 
uh, you will find the weights uh, on the internet I don't remember exactly um, but it's the length so it's it's much heavier and uh, the the third thing is the idler on on lenso is working vertically so there are some uh, sources that say it it tames the resonances or the engine resonances the engine noise is transferred less this way into, into the disc and and is being picked up less by by the by the head and the last thing is Lanzo speed is just controlled by the weight of the of the disc. It's just too heavy for a motor to to introduce uh, speed differences. Uh, while the disc on Garard it uh, it has a magnetic brake, so people say that a lot of the sound of uh, Garard is uh, to do with the magnetic brake, and when you remove the mag magnetic brake, you lose a big part of uh, Garard sound. So what is the what is the essence? Uh, what is the essential difference in uh, the sound of Lenso and Garard and what made me choose uh, in this situation the sound of Lenso? I think probably because of the uh, magnetic break on the Garard the sound is is sometimes sometimes I feel it it's hard for me to listen it to listen to it 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 makes me uh, a bit tense because uh, there's a certain heaviness a, a certain blur over the sound and it and it forces uh, forces some kind of uh, vintage uh, presentation on on uh, on how it sounds and. Uh, I was consulting with a number of people when 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 I had Gerard at home, and uh, one person said, and I 100% agree with him. He said, "Lenso will always be your reference sound because it's true, and uh, it it has no coloring, and and that is uh, that is so correct. Gerard sound is very colored. It has a huge bump in bass. It has it has a sweet mid range." I don't know where this sweetness comes, but you can really tell that it's sweet, and that and it has mellow highs. You know, with with Lenzo, if there's something wrong with the recording, you will always hear that in in the highs it will be harsh, it will be distorted, and you will hear that. And uh, Garat, for some reason, it, it it it's able to mask it. I'm not sure why. One person said it's due to in inconsistent speed. The highs get lost, uh, and then you don't you don't hear them as precisely, and that could be true. For records that have less than ideal heights, high recordings, high frequency recordings, it's um, sometimes it's like listening to a very old cassette tape. Like you're you're feeling like it's part of it is disappearing because your brain cannot connect the sounds anymore. Um, sounds very scary and uh, you know um, but uh, I'm just trying to explain in essence what what I heard it's not that bad it's just that I'm trying to be picky and trying to find the, the essential difference between these two turntables and the ways they work and getting back to getting back to Lento being neutral my friend has brought some tapes and, and I have this Studer B67, a very nice tape machine. And we, you know, since since with the Orthophone Arm and SPU and Lenso, I, I've reached uh, such a level of, you know, of sound. That I said to my friend, you know, I know you have this kind of blue tape, uh, I know you have um, Getz Gilberto tape and uh, the third one was uh, the take five recording and we so we spent all three tapes and you know there were nuances and 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 things uh, you know with speed and a level of detail of course tape will outrun uh, um, a vinyl in in level of detail and and the way it 
the way it performs uh, as effortlessly and confidently. Um, but, you know, there were differences, but they were kind of minor, let's say, a bit more minor than I have expected. So it's, it's a testament to how neutral Lenso sounds exactly. Um, yeah, you can, you can achieve this level of presentation with, with a good arm and the Lenso. And uh, I have to just come up with, uh, I think, I think I, I've made my choice. I'm staying with Lenso. This one L70 will probably have to be sold because the, the, the plint is too nice and the arm is very good. And probably I'll look for a donor Lenso and make a larger plint for a 12 inch arm. I'm not sure still if it's, it will be PTP or, or the same, same Lenso shell, but we'll see. Thank you. And uh, if you have any comments, uh, ideas, Please put that in the comment section. Thank you. Have a nice day.